It's time now to clear the air. And Mitt Romney has managed to insult a lot of people during this campaign, from his comments about the 47% to insulting the intelligence of the entire nation by repeatedly lying during the first debate. But I have a feeling that the person who'd be most insulted by Mitt Romney would probably be his own late father. When George Romney launched his own campaign to run for the presidency in 1968, he released 12 years of tax returns because he believed that anything less would be manipulated to give the best possible impression. But look at what his son has done. He's released just two years of tax returns and he intentionally overpaid, not taking more than two million dollars in deductions because he knew that a quarter billionaire who pays just nine percent in tax couldn't possibly claim to be the champion of every American. And then there was George Romney's honesty about Vietnam. You see, he originally supported the war, but he changed his mind and told the truth that this wasn't a good war that America was going to win, but a bad one that the country was going to lose. And those comments proved to be his undoing, and his bid for the presidency collapsed, though his integrity did not. But with Mitt Romney, it's the exact opposite. Instead of transparency, we get secrecy. Instead of the truth, we get a bucket full of lies. And given his father's example, Mitt Romney really, really should have known better.